Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A question here states that today anyone who speaks is referred to as a scholar. What are the actual identities of a scholar? Inshallah, I'll start off by saying, bi-idhnillah, what we have covered in these two, three days, then the answer lies in what we have mentioned in our lessons. But, but to elaborate slightly more on this, first and foremost, this is a mushkila that we face in the West, and other than the West as well today, regarding those who are in the maidan, in the platform of giving dawah. It is a mushkila regarding these titles of scholars, of doctor, or whatever you want to name it, it is a mushkila of placing a title on an individual. First, I would like to mention that the scholars themselves don't refer to themselves as scholars. Our scholars that are scholars, they don't refer to themselves as scholars. No one likes to have the title. So no real scholar, a person that fears Allah, would want that title for himself. There are many examples. From them is Shaykh Al-Fawzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala, was questioned regarding that how can somebody become a person of knowledge and become like you, Ya Shaykh? And then and he answered by saying, and this is, remember, Fawzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala, perhaps, if not the most, one of the most knowledgeable people that we have on the face of the earth regarding the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal. And saying, who said to you that I'm a person of knowledge? Oh, that I am a scholar. A scholar is bin Baz. A scholar is Shaykh Uthiyameen. Who told you that it is me? And this is Shaykh Fawzan mentioning this. If you look in the kitabat of our scholars, Shaykh Ubaid, Shaykh Rabi, and other than them, you never see them signing Shaykh Kedha wa Kedha. They just write their names. So that's the first point I want to mention. That those who are in the platform of giving da'wah shouldn't very easily want to be referred as Shaykh. You should want to be fleeing away from that if you are truly taking the example from the mashayikh that you claim that you studied from. That's number one. Number two, how can you distinguish if an individual is a shaykh? Then, Ahlul Fadl, Ya'arifun Ahlul Fadl. The people of virtues, they recognize the people of virtues. It is them that will refer to others as mashayikh. So when the scholars are referring to others as mashayikh, then alhamdulillah, they are the ones that refer to the people of knowledge. Who? Those darasu, tool al zaman, those who have learned from scholars a large period of time. Not that they went away and they learned Arabic for a year. Not that they went away somewhere for two years, learned a few ma'lumat and they come back. And then khalas, YouTube videos are being opened, things have been, channels are being opened, they shaykh fulan. Posters are going around everywhere with shaykh such and such. La la, that's not the murad. What makes a shaykh? Laysa kathratul al-ma'lumat. Not a lot of information as Imam Barbahari he mentioned. But rather, it is ilm and tatbiq, acting upon the knowledge. As they used to say of old, that al-alim la yukul al-alim an hatta yukul al-alim amaluhu yuwafiq ilmu. That they, you cannot say somebody is an alim up until his actions are in agreement to his knowledge. Meaning he acts upon his knowledge. He has years of defending. Not just two or three years gone away. What is he like when he comes to the fitan? What is he like when, when the fitna comes? What is his mokif? Yes, he may have this title of sheikh, but when he comes to actually clarifying the truth and refuting the batil, what is he like then? Yes, if he has years of this, if he has 20 years of this, and the mashayikh have seen this, and he's a person that defends and clarifies, and he's upon the truth, then these are the type of individuals that the mashayikh say, and recommend and refer to as a scholar. Not that he's merely gone, and he can speak the Arabic language, or he has a title, and then khalas, he is a sheikh. What's more important than what he is uttering, is his actual actions. What is more important is, when the fitna comes, and the people are in confusion, does he clarify? These are the ones that are mustahik to have that title of Shaykh. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.